Well, it's been one full week since I started mining uh, Bitcoin using the nice hash miner. I didn't know it would be that good, but I, I took a chance. $31.65, seven days. Okay, now I'm using two active rigs. This is the dashboard. Now if I go to the mining tab up here and go to the rig manager, you see I have two working rigs, two computers running in the house. This one here, worker one, is the one I'm using right now. And this is um, the other screen here. I'm watching Bitcoin price and Ethereum prices here all the time. And this is the hash rate, 7.63 for this particular computer. It's just an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. <clears throat> and here's my um, afterburner for overclocking. It's not doing very much. 123 core and 350 memory clock. And this tells me the approximate profitability. This is always changing, so don't worry about that. Now go back over here. My other worker is the old HP I had downstairs. It's the Intel i7-4470. I'm running the CPU miner and the GTX 1650 Super. And that's mining and um, tells me the temperature. I'm not, even, I'm not even overclocking the one downstairs because I tried that and kept shutting down. I don't know why. So this tells you the local rig profitability. $1.44, $242. So let's go to the history and stats. And it tells me right now I'm running at 4.8 mega hash on this computer upstairs and 9.21 and 3 uh, 3 kilo hash per second on the one downstairs and um, For some reason it keeps every so often it misses a block and I get a restart And I'm gonna go down here and this shows me exactly one week as I started watch Okay, these high points are when it doesn't transfer the money immediately right to the block So every so often I get a high high point here. It doesn't mean anything but averaging out um it's around three dollars per day or actually almost four dollars a day when you think of it because it's canadian dollars and let's see there it is here three dollars and 85 cents per day unpaid balance it'll pays every four hours so I got another hour to go 50 more cents of wind here that'll bring to 32 dollars so only 32 dollars a one week of mining with the nice hash easy miner. Now thirty-two dollars a week times four is about one hundred and thirty. This these numbers aren't right. The estimated they base it right away on some other numbers, so that would be wrong. So I, I didn't do the yearly calculation. It'd be over a year. It'd be over a thousand anyway, just for two computers. Now what I'm trying to do now is I don't have the uh, the funds to build a, a rig like a six graphics card rig or an eight. I'd love to be able to do that, but the boards are so expensive. These just happen to be two computers I have in the house. And I have one more in the house I'm not allowed to use yet because my son my son's using it and he doesn't want to use it for mining. So I'm gonna try and buy a couple more computers, maybe four more, and stick them in downstairs somewhere and just to, it'll help heat the basement too. And then I can see if I can go from thirty one dollars a week maybe to a hundred dollars a week. That's not too bad, you know, so this is a pretty good program. I, I didn't transfer it over yet to um I'm gonna, I can only transfer when you get to $60, okay, Canadian. So when it gets to 60, I'll transfer it and put it in my Bittrex account. Then I can trade it on different coins and see if I can make that worth more. And I, like I said, this is the nice hash miner. It works for me every time. Um, I never had any issues with it. But the only thing is when you launch it, you launch it from the tab, run as administrator. Right click on the, on the um, icon, hit right click, and then hit run as administrator, and you're able to run higher speeds on the processor okay so there's my experience with nice hash easy miner um, if you have any questions uh, put them in the comment section and maybe you can help me out with and how to get my earnings even higher for mining bitcoin looks like run and run again so hopefully this works out thanks for watching